guys welcome back to my channel so i just finished watching episode two of season one of loki my reaction will be into my youtube memberships if you don't know what that is and you are new here i think i have five new members now which i saw during my gaming live stream so welcome um so you're gonna get to see my reaction to shows like this and all of my other shows i got two levels of memberships over there level one is the 2.99 and you get priority replies from me special polls and that at some point live streams level two is for 4.99 and you get everything that level one has plus you get all of my reactions to all of the shows i watch any movies i watch and all of my uncut try not to last so if you're not a member make sure that you guys become a member today now i see that there is a lot <laughs> that i need to follow here when it comes to loki that's a lot going on so in the beginning he was talking to oh i forgot her name the little clock mrs time or something like that i forget i'm sorry but anyway so they're having a conversation and the premise of this episode is that he has to t help the tva find a variant of himself and you know he's like talking way too much at this point and that's the total opposite from the way that he started in <laughs> this season because he was a bit quiet but now he's getting really excited about you know everything that's going on and M mobius doesn't really trust him but he really wants to work with him um uh loki wants to work with him he wants to figure things out so um mobius gives him a jacket and in the back of the jacket it says variant so in the beginning we see that it was like i don't know it looks like a little bit a little festival or one of those back in the day kind of old um festivals and c20 showed up and they're looking for what I, I think was is the variant and somehow the variant transferred to one of them so this variant is showing up in a black robe and the the variant literally transfers from person to person so it transferred into one of the tva members and then they just took off with them right so now because mobius doesn't trust him now he's trying to get loki to help them find another variant of himself a different type of variant but it seems like in this episode this variant is pretty darn smart so they talk about the timeline reset. So I guess every time the variant comes across a timeline, it resets or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. So we learn a little bit about the timekeeper. So the timekeepers pretty much have an eye on everything. Literally, they have their hands on everything. Um, so Loki, Loki is trying to figure out where this variant could be, where it's hiding and stuff. So he's looking through all these files and everything that he wants is classified except for one thing. And so in this file, it kind of brings him to tears because he sees that in the file, there's like the discretion, the destruction of Asgard, which is where he's from. And it dawned on him that as he's reading this file it says that you know basically asgard was taken out by some apocalyptic event so then he came to the conclusion that this variant is hiding in different apocalypse in different places so now he goes to go explain this to mobius and at first mobius doesn't understand but then he realizes that it's kind of making some sense um and it was a lot so i really like had to try to pay attention to everything like it, it's it's really a lot but i'm intrigued at, as far as like how loki is kind of figuring all this stuff out so um he's trying to convince mobius to take him to the take him with him to the apocalypse and mobius is like no like i don't trust you you're gonna try to backstab me whatever he was like no he was like you can count on one thing i like being right so he's going to keep going until he proves himself right. So they end up going to Italy. And this is back like way, 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 way back. Um, and Mobius is like, all right, we're here to do our job. But any little thing that we do can alter time. As we know, so you can't really do anything. So here goes Loki screaming at the top of his lungs, letting out a bunch of goats, 
telling everybody that they're about to die, but he's like excited about it. It's really weird. Then he tells everybody that volcano is about to explode. And I know because I'm from the future and it does. So now Mobius is like really believing him. So at this point, now they go back to the, to the TVA, to the office or whatever. Now they're trying to get the team together to try to find out exactly where this variant is. And they kind of locate the next location that this variant is going to be at. And I guess it's sometime in the future. And I didn't know, or maybe I did know and forgot that Loki was raised by Odin. And all that stuff is coming back because of me playing Ragnarok. So that's kind of weird. Um, but it's kind of making sense in a weird way. And that's funny, like, that's how I know what Ragnarok and Asgard is and Thor and Loki, Odin. But anyway, so in one of these classified files was that um, uh, uh, Kablooey candy, which is what we saw in the beginning. Like, when I first saw it, I was just like, I remember seeing that. And it, I forgot what it does. I forgot what it does. But that's one of their, I don't know, in their evidence files or whatever. So it's said that every time the variant um, attacks, he steals a, a reset charge. So every time he goes to, to, to a different place, he's basically resetting time, which is not a good thing. So now they end up in this place in the future it's like a big store and it's a big storm that's coming it's about to wipe everybody out and of course this is where they find the variant so they're walking around and mobius and loki split up loki ends up with the head of the team um the the bossy chick and then i had a feeling i'm like something is going to happen with her and of course the variant transferred to her and a couple of other people found loki loki is calmly talking but then loki says to the variant um i'm looking to overturn not overturn is that what he said he's he's looking to overthrow the timekeepers so i'm just like wait a minute was loki planning this this whole time like it it kind of threw me off and it confused me a little bit so they ended up finding the chick that disappeared in the beginning and she's sitting there mumbling something and she lets mobius and their team know that she told them how to get to the timekeepers like she like i don't know what happened to her but anyway so now the person in the black robe is a chick named vrice or something like that and she looks really evil and she ends up basically lacing the whole place with all these uh reset charges or whatever and then she ends it's she's i don't know i forgot what it was that they called it but she actually literally laced the whole place up i guess she's trying to get to the timekeepers so she had this little device in her hand and she went through the little time reset doorway and loki is standing there and i'm like i know he's not gonna go after her and he did so in my mind, I don't know, like, I'm like, wait, was he playing the TVA this whole time? Or is he really trying to get to the variant his own way? You know, which is what I would want to assume. But this is getting really interesting. And I see that there's a lot of information that you kind of have to absorb with Loki. But I can't wait to see the next episode. So leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed episode two, season one of Loki. If you enjoyed my review, let me know as well. I'm trying to get through all of these episodes before Loki season two drops on Thursday. So um, hopefully tomorrow I'll get to two episodes. Let's see, three, four. Five. So I've got four episodes left because I think if I'm not mistaken, there's six episodes in season one. So I've got four to go, so I'm going to try to knock them out before Thursday. But leave your comments down below, and if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up in your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodle!